With K-content becoming a major export engine in South Korea, the government plans to introduce an aggressive budget to further nurture the culture industry. Our Shin Sebyeok has the details. The Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism will inject over 6.7 trillion won, or roughly over 5.3 billion dollars, to support South Korean media content this year to further expand K-culture to the world. In a policy briefing to President Yoon Suk yeol on Thursday, the culture minister spoke of the importance of nurturing K-content as it has become the country's number one major source of growth. K-content has become the major export growth engine. It will be the game changer that changes the export landscape of the country. The key agenda out of the six presented includes further promoting K-content. The ministry allocated its largest budget of 790 billion won, worth some 620 million dollars for nurturing promising firms in the industry. In particular, it pledged to provide intensive support to the game industry, which takes up 70 percent of the total content exports. It will also give comprehensive support to promote a variety of online fictional content like online novels and cartoons. Also, the government will provide systematic support to boost production for OTT platforms. Specifically, it will offer over 45 billion won, or nearly 36 million dollars in financial support for movie and TV show production, and 30 billion won for post-production work. Through those efforts, the ministry aims to increase the country's content exports to $15 billion this year and $22 billion by 2027, around a two-fold growth from 2021. Another major pillar of the 2023 work plan involves reviving tourism through the rising popularity of K-culture. To do so, the government plans to declare the year 2023 as the year of Visit Korea and hold tourism roadshows in 15 big cities around the world. The ministry will also work to create a cluster for history and culture-themed tourism centered around the formal presidential compound of Cheongwadae and surrounding old neighborhood. Detailed plans are yet to be made, but the ministry said the advisory committee will come up with a concrete plan soon. Other plans include supporting local areas that lack cultural opportunities and supporting artists with disabilities, such as opening a barrier-free performance arts hall. Shin Sebyeok, Arirang News.